Hi guys, welcome to Hope This Works. I'm Kevin, and thanks for joining me. Just getting this fire going this morning. It is a cold day in Wyoming again. I am not going to take you outside and show you what's out there because it happened again. We're getting our driveway cleaned out. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about the first video in my stove heat exchanger build that's going to ultimately heat our greenhouse. I have some, well, this is obviously my stove right here. Uh, how I operate this stove, I'll throw in a few logs once she's getting going, about like that. About like that. Now, once, once this starts to burn down a ways, that creates kind of a trough between these two logs right here. And fire will start burning up in between those two logs. I'll throw a bag of this pulverized coal in there. And that'll kind of filter through those logs. And I can run a good majority of the day on bags of coal instead of using any firewood. So, with this heat exchanger project, what I've been noticing when I come out in the morning, uh, it's kind of cold in the shop and I didn't put any uh, any fuel in this at all since about seven o'clock last night. I'm gonna grab my poker here. It is still relatively warm in there. This won't keep a fire burning all night. Uh, I've tried to, but I've been integrating coal, and what end up what ends up happening is uh, I still basically have a coal bed uh, right under there, and the stove is still warm, insulated by this ash. So again, that's why my theory is to run my copper heat exchanger pipes along the bottom of the stove. Uh, and that, in essence, will keep the water warmer longer and potentially carry the heat in the shop and the greenhouse through the night. That's my theory, because the top of the stove is dang near ice cold, because uh, the stove hasn't been burning. So. so my theory is to run my heat exchanger on the base of the stove underneath and then also up the sides with what copper pipe and fittings I do have. I also have bought a pump, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but it's a pump for uh, underfloor heating systems or in-floor heating systems uh, want to circulate the water. So um, the second step of this plan is to build my heat exchanger, kind of tear these blocks down, do a different forced air system up top with materials that I have here and hook up my pump and put a barrel inside here. Uh, I eliminate some problems. We're still in some, some seriously freezing temperatures. I'm going to try to test to see how long that barrel of water will stay warm overnight without an active fire burning. I eliminate any potential freezing from the transfer of the water from the wood shop to the greenhouse. I uh, want to test my working and operating system first. Uh, I also have some other types of uh, heat exchangers. I'll insert a picture right there um, that I salvaged from the golf barn salvage earlier this summer. And I plan on installing those also in the greenhouse and possibly in the shop here. I have enough of them. So um, I'm going to try the test barrel and make sure everything's circulating. Uh, pressure test my pipes, no leaks, things like that, uh, and then move on to phase two of the project, which would be installing a pipe from here out to the greenhouse. So um, a little bit of research and development phase in this section right here. Uh, but again, that's why I wanted to use a test barrel. And, uh, this is going to kind of validate my theory why I want to put the water pipes on the bottom of the stove. Thanks for joining me today guys in 
phase one of heat exchanger, heated greenhouse, wood shop build. And one more thing, guys. What I realized today earlier while I was abstracting the rummage disc was Dubois Homestead has a premiere coming out tomorrow night going directly after my live stream, piggybacking my live stream. So you can't miss one without the other. So you might as well come to my live stream tomorrow at 5 p.m. Mountain or word on the street is they may be having a celebration or a anniversary or a, maybe they hit a milestone or, or something like that and they're giving away pie. Uh, some of Dave's famous meat pie, Dave and Amanda's meat pie. So don't miss one without the other, and thanks for joining me. Oh, and one more thing. While I was cleaning the conjunctive files, we have a what's in the box for tomorrow night's live stream. You want to hope this works? If you have not already subscribed, please hit that button and ring that bell for all the notifications. This should be a really cool series, and uh, as always... Hope this works.